Hello boys and girls, it is time for math. Now in math today we're going to be learning about something called kilograms. Now kilograms are a unit of measure used to measure how much something weighs, how heavy something is. All right, so it's kind of like, it's similar to pounds, that we use pounds to measure how heavy something is and we can also use kilograms to measure how heavy something is. Now I don't have a kilogram weight like I do in the classroom that I could pass around to you guys. So I was looking everywhere, trying to find something that weighs about one kilogram that we both have. And finally, after much searching, I found that this book weighs a little bit more than one kilogram. So it's not exactly a kilogram, it weighs a little bit more than this. So a kilogram weighs a little bit less than this book. All right, so this weighs um, like two and a half pounds, but a kilogram is 2.2 pounds. All right, so one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Let's write that on here so we don't forget. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. All right, so basically what that means is that one kilogram weighs a little bit more than two pounds. Make sure you see that dot so you don't think it's 22 pounds, because it's not. So one kilogram weighs a little bit more than two pounds. Remember on Monday, we were learning about pounds and we found some things that weigh about a pound. Well, a kilogram weighs a little more than two pounds, okay? So our reading book, our literature anthology weighs about two and a half pounds. So this weighs more than a kilogram, but it's pretty close. It's the closest thing I could find that we both have. So hold your literature anthology. You can go ahead and grab it if you don't have it. And just feel how it feels on one hand. Just feel the weight, kind of get used to it. Okay, because this is a little bit more than a kilogram, but it's very close, okay? very close to a kilogram. So we're gonna kinda use this as our kilogram weight. If you have a kitchen scale at home that has kilograms on it, you can try and find something else in your house that is closer to equaling a kilogram, okay? And that would be helpful for you too. If you're able to do that, that would be great. Um, so this was the closest thing I could find that we both have. All right, so now we're gonna measure a few things. We're gonna feel, you know, how this about one kilogram feels, and then we're gonna measure something else in the other hand, and we need to decide if, if this was on a scale, would the kilogram be heavier, or would the other object be heavier, or would it be about the same? So, let's start off with something simple, like a pear, a nice, juicy, yummy pear. All right, so, okay, let's get our scale ready. If you have a pear, you can use a pear. If you have another piece of fruit, you can use another piece of fruit. That's fine. All right, so I have my kilogram here and I have my pear here. Do you think is a pear less than, about the same as, or more than one kilogram? Let's see, let's see. A pear definitely weighs less than one kilogram. A pear definitely weighs less. This is definitely heavier. All right. Okay, so there was our first experiment to see. What about a tissue box? Now this tissue box is mostly empty. So, if I'm balancing these, which one do you think is going to be heavier? Is the kilogram gonna be heavier or is the tissue box gonna be heavier? Kilogram, still kilogram heavier. This tissue box is weighs less than one kilogram, definitely. It's much, much lighter, much, much lighter. All right, now let's find some bigger things. Ooh, how about my globe, my globe? All right, now I gotta balance both of these on my hands. So, okay, I've got my kilogram and I've got my globe. Let's see, which one? Do you think the globe is going to be less than one kilogram, about one kilogram, or more than one kilogram. Let's see. They're about the same weight. This globe is about one kilogram. It weighs about one kilogram. So there's, they have a similar weight. 
not exactly the same, but it's about one kilogram. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Ooh, over here I have a backpack full of books. A backpack full of books. Do you think, I don't think I can balance this on one hand. <laughs> Do you think, is my backpack going to be less than one kilogram, about one kilogram, or more than one kilogram? Which one? <laughs> the backpack weighs more than one kilogram. You can try this at home. You can fill your backpack with stuff and see which one weighs more, your backpack or your book, your one book. All right, definitely this backpack weighs more than one kilogram. Whew, that was heavy. So, boys and girls, that is what you'll be working on on your worksheet as well. You are going to look at some pictures of different objects, and you're going to have to decide. Does this weigh less than one kilogram, about one kilogram, or more than one kilogram? So, you can use your book as kind of a reference of about what a kilogram feels like. Um, remember, this weighs just a teensy bit more than a kilogram. But you can see if you can find something that's closer to a kilogram's weight, if you can. Or you can even do some um, activities at home where you can, if your parents say it's okay, you can use like a kitchen scale and you can weigh some other items that you find like other books that you have or a stuffed animal you have or potatoes or something. And you can weigh and see and see, well you can guess first, guess if it's going to weigh less, about, or more than a kilogram. And you can see, and then you can test it out and see, hmm, this weighs about a kilogram or less than. And then you can work on your worksheet where you look at the different objects and you need to guess if they weigh about a kilogram. All right? So that's all about kilograms. Remember, one kilogram equals about 2.2 pounds. So it equals a little bit more than a pound, or than two pounds, not one pound. It, one kilogram equals a little bit more than two pounds, all right? So about the weight of this book. All right, boys and girls, that is kilograms. I hope you enjoy um, weighing things if your parents say it's okay to use a scale. And I hope you enjoy working on your worksheet and just feeling the weight of different things. All right, have an awesome day.